Hi, this is Mark, and in this video we're going to take a look at adding backdrops to highlight areas in a node view. If I look at this character, I can see that he has legs on the right side and several other nodes to the left, but you'd have to zoom in to understand where things are. Backdrops are essentially a highlightable area of your node view that can help to situate yourself when you're in a large group. Another practical use of backdrops would be if I had to do compositing inside of a rig or a group and I wanted someone who would go into my scene to understand where I've made changes. I could then use a backdrop to highlight my modifications using my added modules. So we want to add a backdrop to showcase where the legs are. I'm going to select all of my nodes and then I'll go into these three little lines at the top of the node view click, go insert, backdrop. What this does is it adds a highlightable area that I can then click this little square yellow button, change the color from red to yellow or green, give it a name, and press OK. So I've effectively created a backdrop that holds all of these nodes together, named it legs. And now I can click and move this backdrop around, which also holds all of the nodes. If I wanted to resize this, all I'd have to do would be to select the bottom right corner, click and drag. And since that has been moved, now it allows me to move it independent of the nodes. If I want to control everything together, I simply click off grab from the top and move around. So now that we've created the legs, I can look in here and I see a torso and a head. If I wanted to separate the head from everything else, what I could do is select all of the head group nodes. Let's make sure we get that peg up there too. Again, three little lines, insert, backdrop. I'm going to change this color to a blue and call this head. Notice that there's another section underneath called text. If you wanted you could add more notes. So this could be used as a way to add notes as well. The notes will appear inside the backdrop as well. And I can resize this however I want by clicking that bottom right corner. And now we have separate sections where we can see where things are. It comes in quite handy if I wanted uh, to separate things from one another. If I want to delete a backdrop, I don't simply select this and delete because that will delete all of my nodes. Make sure that you just grab the bottom right corner to effectively deselect everything, see that it's independent, and then you can press the delete key to get rid of it. 